Biden administration refusing to call the migrant situation a crisis, despite thousands flocking to the southwest border, officials even admitting they're struggling to house everyone looking for asylum. Griff Jenkins, our man on the border, is live in McAllen, Texas, with an exclusive look inside what they're calling a migrant processing center. Griff. Yeah, Pete, you see right there that bus leaving that white bus. They've been coming nearly every hour since we've been out here for the last four hours, and they're holding hundreds, if not thousands, of migrants throughout the day. We're going to give you the numbers in a minute, but if you look back this way, this gate right here in the Rio Grande Valley sector in Mission, Texas, this is ground zero for Biden's border crisis, and it just came down this road. Now, we had to pull our drone out of the sky, Pete, because a storm just popped up here in the last 10 minutes, but we want to show you exclusive photos that we obtained from a temporary outdoor processing site. Now it is up this road. You can see here the thousands of migrants here in the bus we just showed you coming out of here. You see one in the photo there. They're loading them up. That is literally at the point of contact right after they've illegally crossed the river and traditionally they don't need that but yet the numbers are so overwhelming that they're having to set something up to separate the family units from the unaccompanied children to the single adults. Now, let us show you some exclusive numbers we've just gotten in the last 24 hours for just this sector alone. In the last 24 hours, 1,940 individuals were apprehended right here where you've seen these photos and in this sector. That's 121,872 on the fiscal year 2021 already, up 177 percent on last year. Now at the White House, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan had this to say about the escalating situation. We've made clear that now is not the time to come to the United States. We are dealing with a circumstance in which uh, we have to build the capacity to be able to assess the asylum claims of individuals who arrive here, and we have to deal with the obvious public health effects of a pandemic. Now, we asked DHS for a statement on those photos we obtained and really why they're having to set up these processing centers because it's so intense and such a heavy flow. They have not responded yet to that, but it is part of the reason why we saw Senator Cornyn and Congressman Cuellar down in Laredo, where we were yesterday holding that meeting, talking to local leaders, and one of those local leaders was a Border Patrol agent in Laredo sector, part of the Border Patrol Union, Hector Garza, and he says that he's not only disappointed in the new administration's policy, well, let him hear, hear directly from him. Here's what he said federal government is complicit in the alien uh, smuggling that's happening on the border right now. I, I think in, in a way the federal government is aiding and abetting the smuggling of human beings into our country. We're allowing cartels to enrich themselves and to abuse these people that are coming from Central and South America. And Hector Garza also drove home the point that every single thing that crosses that river is controlled by the cartel. There's talk of wristbands. He's seen that. They're doing it in an organized way. The colored wristbands determine where people go. And it is a problem that they're very worried that because of that February number we saw this week, 100,441 uh, total encounters on the border for the month of February, that is four months ahead of where we saw the crisis in 2019 and they're worried we're going to see unprecedented numbers and it's going to get worse and worse, something that Senator Cornyn was making the point of, calling it a Category 5 hurricane that we could be headed for. Pete, Jed, Will? Griff, you're doing great work down there. If I could, a real a quick question. That photo that you got us exclusively of that processing center, whatever you want to call it, if we could put it up on the screen, I mean, that's if this was the Trump administration, that would be outdoor family cages out, you know, under an overpass. They're trying to ex explain it away as a processing center. They haven't really explained what it is yet. But Jake Sullivan made clear from the pod, he said they're making it clear, they want to make it clear, that the border is not open. Is that the message you're seeing, or is this unlike anything you've seen at the border before, Griff? I have never seen anything like this, and that is exactly what not only every Border Patrol agent I've talked to, but even Democrat Congressman Henry Cuellar is saying that, and he's calling it a crisis here in his backyard. And that question, Pete, is extremely important because the message that the migrants are getting is that rather than having to come over, surrender, and possibly get 
caught and released. But yet now, because of these temporary processing sites, the agents, some of them calling it a reception center for the migrants rather than a processing center, because as soon as they get across the river, many of them, particularly the family units, are being taken directly to a bus station and released. Wow. Mind you, not COVID tested. That falls on the part of the local officials. In the case of the city of Brownsville, we reported earlier this week, 204 migrants have now tested positive since January 25th. But when you get across that river, put on a bus in the place where we showed you those photos just a mile up from the river and then released directly into a bus station. They then go to wherever they're headed in the U.S., call home, Facebook message home and say, hey, I made it. It was easy. And that pull factor is the greatest one that the officials are worried about. Griff, thanks so much.